Good afternoon, everyone. Ashley, can you need the prayer? We need the Father and of the Son. Last time, yung last nating lesson is all about rational and I already gave you the assignment. Uh, I asked you to answer the assignment using the link to the programs. And I also check the attendance. Kaya nung sinend po sa Google. So thank you for responding uh, to this online class. So to start our lesson, we will have a review of the previous lesson that we discussed, which is about rational expression. Okay, we will continue with the lesson uh, uh, moving forward. Uh, let me share my screen for the review. Okay, are you ready with your uh, are you ready with your uh, whiteboards or your um, uh, notebook na pwedeng sagutan? Okay. Good. Sa kanila ay kamo sasulat. Hindi ko alam siya. Okay, let's have the exercises or the review. What is 25 raised to 1 half? Write your answers and then I will call somebody to answer. Mommy, ang sagot na talaga? Yes. Ready? Yeah, Can you show your answers on your screen? Show your answers on the screen. Show your answers, please. Joe. Dana. Catherine, very good. Raven. Uh, Milario, very good. Quantity AV, quantity raised to one third. Okay, kindly show your answers on your screens, please. Kindly show your answers. And you go to the address. Manuel, you can make this. Open your doubter. How about Rami? Uh, Raven, what is your answer? Sierra, what is your answer? Trinity. AB. Very good, very good. Christelle, very good. Catherine, very good. Pero, can you call someone to answer? Call someone to answer. Call a friend. Not a box. Leonard. Load your answer. Uh, a cube root AB. Okay, very good. Cube root of AB. So the answer will be Basic. correct. Cube root of AB. Next. 2 raised to 1 third. X raised to 1 third. Alrighty. Show your answers on your screens, please. Okay, Leonard, can you call someone to answer the question? CTO, CTO, CTO. Cube root 2x. Okay, the answer will be cube root of cube root 2x. Okay, next, number four. What is 5r raised to 1 half s raised to 3 over 2? 5r raised to 1 half s raised to 3 over 2. Ready? Okay. Show your answers on your camera. What is your answer? Show your answers. Very good, Leon. Ashley. Uh, Dana, what's your answer? Can you please show your answer? Thank you, very good. Okay, the correct answer will be 5, uh, 5S and then square root of Rx. Okay, Yay. next or last. Number 5, 8 raised to 1 third, Y raised to 3 over 3. 8, eight raised to 1 third, Y raised to 3 over 3. Good, Paul. E for echo. Okay, correct. Uh, Giron. 
Okay, very good. Okay, the correct answer is equals to 2y because the cube root of 8 is equals to cube root of y. That's why no. the way over 3 or raised to 1 is also y. Okay. Now we move forward to yep. our lesson, which is actually simplifying radicals. Okay, I have already given you the link for the video for you to watch. So I hope that you already watched the video. But then again, I will still discuss the lesson uh, to, to refresh. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our online class. Today, we're going to discuss simplifying radicals. Okay, what are radicals? Roots or radicals are the opposite operation of applying exponents. We can undo a power with a radical, and we can undo a radical with a power. We can raise numbers to powers other than 2. For example, we can cube a number being raised to the third power or to the power of 3. We have 2 cubed, 5 cubed, x cubed. Or raise them to the fourth power or to the power of 4. Or we can even raise them to the hundredth power and so on. We have a to the fourth, y to the fourth, and to the hundredth power. Okay. In the same way, we can also take the cube root of a number, the fourth root or the hundredth root, and so forth. Just as a square, is un a square root undoes squaring, so also as the cube root undoes cubing, and the fourth root undoes raising things to the fourth power, etc. Okay. Let us first uh, define radical expression. So radical expression is an expression containing the radical sign. Example, I have the cube root of 8. This is the symbol or the radical symbol or the radical sign. The number inside the radical symbol is called your radicand. And the number between the radical symbol is called your root or index. Square roots. The square root of a number is the opposite of squaring a number. Example, if a squared is equals to b squared, then the square root of b will be equals to a. Okay, in numbers, 3 squared equals 9, then the square root of 9 will give us 3. Got it? Next, cube root. The cube root of real number is the opposite of cubing a number. Okay? B cubed is equal to A, then the cube root of A will give us B. Okay? In numbers, 2 cubed is equal to A. Therefore, if we get the cube root of A, well, it will give us 2. Are we good? Okay. So move on. Let's have examples. Okay, I have the square root of 49. You can answer. Um. 7, mom. Okay, very seven good. 7, mom. Because when we square 7, it will give us 49. Next. 25, square root of 25 over 16. So we can rewrite this as the square root of 25 over, over the square root of 16. So we know that the square root of 5 over 4. 5 over 4, very good. Next, number 3. I have 64 x raised to 10, or the square root of 64 x raised to 10. So to simplify, we separate two factors. 8x is based to 5. We have two factors inside the number. 8x, pip. So we separate two factors. Square root of 64 times square root of 10. Square root of 64 is equals to 8. Ayun ko yung sagot niyan. Since we have x raised to 10, the power of the radical is bigger than the root, which is 2. We divide the power over the root. And this over. So we have x raised to the fifth power. Power. X raised to the fifth None. 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 Very good. None, ma'am. What if I have a, uh, a radical with this, which is not a perfect square? For example, square root of 15. Factor, ma'am. 
factor. So, we factor 50 such that one of the factors is 25. a factor. So, 50 is also equals to 25 times 2. And then, the other way factor, we separate. So, we have square root of 25 times 2. Square root of 25 is what? Next. What if I have a variable x or x raised to 5, the cube root of x raised to 5? Kumapansin nyo, we have a bigger power kesa to the root. So we factor x raised to 5 by x cubed times x squared. Bakit? Cancellation. Okay, bago tayo magka-cancel. Paano ba naman tayo? Hindi cancel, ano naman? Okay. Na-minus lang. Separate each factor. Kira-root of x cubed. Okay. 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 So, therefore, this will become x na lang. X. X. Ayan na naman x. And then, of x squared. Ano kaya yan? So the final answer is X times the favorite of X. Ano lang yan? 13. Okay. Next is 64. Square root of 64 times X raised to the fifth power. Again, we have two factors, 64 and X. So we have square root of 64 times X to the fifth. Again, we factor or separate each factor, 64. Square root of 64 times the square root of x raised to 4 times x raised to 1. Okay, x raised to 1 can also be expressed as x, di ba? Ibig sabihin kahit wala nakalagay niya, ibig sabihin may exponent siya na 1. Then, square root of 64 is 8. And then, separate natin x, square root of x to the 4 times the square root of x. So we have equals 8, copy. 8x. And then 4 divided by 2. 2. So we have x squared. Ax squared pala. And then, since wala na to, the exponent is 1, be smaller than the root, we just simply copy square root of x. So the final answer will be 8x squared times square root of x. Square root. Okay. My question ba? Okay? So let's have some practice exercises. I don't know why I have the following exercises. I will be answering the first for number one, and then I'll be calling someone to answer the and explain the uh, their solution. Okay? okay? Let me try to solve the following using my tablet, drawing tablet. 81, m raised to 5, and r raised to 7. So we separate each factor. So I have the cube root of 81 times the cube root of ano ngayon? R Ano ma'am? M M M M to the power of 5 M raised to 5 to the power of 7 R to the power of 7 Tapos the cube R, root of R, R raised to 7. 7. Tama? Okay, uh -huh. so we have, we factor 81, the cube root of 81 as the cube root of 27 point, uh, times 3 times the cube root of oh, M raised to 5. So we factor M cube times times squared. squared. And then we also factor cube root of r raised r to 6. 6. Taka lang ha. Kasi makita yung ano. Uh, and then multiply by r raised times r. So r times 6 times r. So r raised to 7. And then we factor each again. So we have the cube root of 27 Nine. times the cube root Nine. of 3. Eight. And then cube root of m, m cube times the cube root of m squared times the cube root of r raised to 6 times the cube root of 
R. Okay. And then we simplify each radical. So the cube root of 27 is what? Three. 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 M. So we have three M square. Three D times the cube root of three times three. the cube root of M cube is what? M. 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 And then, can we simplify cube root of m squared? Can we no. simplify? No. No. Because the power is Bring down. less than cube root. So, less than copy cube, cube root of m squared times r raised to 6. So, again, we divide r squared. 6 divided by 3. We have r, r squared. squared times r squared. the root of r. r. And then, lahat ng nasa labas ng radical, yun yung pagsasama-samay natin. So, we have 3 M, M R squared. R squared. Tapos, lahat ng nasa loob, pagsasama-samay nyo siya sa loob ng radical. Cube root. And we have cube root of cube root 3 M, 3 M, M, M squared, squared M R. R. So, that is going to be your final answer. Nag-gets naman, ma'am. Okay? That is how you simplify pag medyo mahap. Riona, can you please answer number two? Use your whiteboard to show your solution. Yes, yes ma'am. Jeros, please answer number three. And then number four, Ren, si Chao, please do number four. While the others, uh, try to answer the following exercises on your own. Are you ready, Riona? Pwede na po. Okay, can you please show your whiteboard dun sa screen mo? And then, can you please explain it to us one by one? How did you do it? What is your answer, by the way? 6x. Very good, 6x. Okay, can you please uh, explain? Ready, Riona? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, can I see your answer? Okay, go. Can you please explain your answer? The square root of 36x squared. So here we have two factors, the 36 and the x squared. Now, we will separate the 36 and the x squared. The square root of 36 is equal to 6. And the square root of x squared is equal to x. Why it becomes x? Because we divided the 2 in the root, but also 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Mm -hmm. Now, 6 times x is equal to 6x. Very good. For the others, did you get the same answers? Okay. Number three, Jeros, please. Jeros, please. Pa. Okay. Three, cube root of 64, y, y4. Why you need to separate. <laughs> you need to separate the cube root of 64 times cube root of y raised to third times cube root of y, then simplify, bring down the cube root of 64 is equal to 4, cube root to y third to the raised to the third power times cube root of y, and the answer is 4y cube root of y. Very good. Did you get the answer as well? How about the others? Were you able to get the same yes. answers? Pwede ba pala pakanawan natin sila, yung mga sumagot? Thank you for participating. So now, let's have some practice exercises. Again, we will be, uh, pro by practicing, we will be using again yung ating ginamit last time, yung Kahoot. So, para naman ma-enjoy naman natin yung ating lesson. Okay? Get the ID, A7570. Start the game. Okay. Start. Simplifying radical. Ano pa gumawin siya? Hindi na siya mo. Pag nakalabas siya ng school, para magawala. Simplify. Pag. Okay na, ma'am. Okay, what is the simplest form for square root of 12 for 20 seconds? Sasagutin ito. Ha? Ah, sasagot. Ah, ano to? Mama, sasagot ito. Click lang. Nandiyan yung sagot, ha? Click nila yung... Ay... Huh? That's incorrect. Wow, very good, Riona. <laughs> Yay! Paano yes. nyo na ako ay sagot? Paano nyo na ako ay sagot? Okay. 
Tama mo naman. Sa'yo naman, tama na to. Time's up! Hey, oh. only to get the right answer. Sino kaya? Ayoko na. <laughs> Time's up! up. <laughs> ayoko na, ayoko na. Tama so, wala. Ah, number three pa si Ramil. Third place. Oh. Okay, thank Second you. Second place, Trinity. First place. Ma'am, bakit kasi... <laughs> Riona, very good. Riona, next. I would love to let you watch a video uh, about the uh, about our topic, and I want you to um, relate our topic with the given video for the said video. Pala. Ang kit. <laughs> May katarata, ma'am. Darog, darog. Nangihina pa rin ako. So, di isin sila. Okay, what can you say about the video? Anyone? Wait, uh, ano sa tingin mo yung problema nung billionaire? Yung mahirap, ay yung madali lang naman yung solution, pinapahirap niya pa yung solution. Okay. Sabihin, so as a student, ano bang ma, anong sa tingin nyo yung pwede nyo magawa? Ganyan. Nag-isip ng short method. Kristen! <laughs> <You know? laughs> Kristen! Ano yung question, ma'am? Anong realization nyo dun sa napanood nyo na video? Bilang estudyante. Lang. Parang ano ma'am, tawag dito, mag-isip ka ng mabuti para, ano, tawag dito, para mas, mas makuha mo yung mga bagay na kung ano yung, pro- yung problema mo. Okay. Yung mas madali. Okay, tama rin. So, yeah. tama naman lahat ng sinabi nyo. So, we need to be, uh, think of a way na mas madali or magiging simple lahat ng bagay na hindi na tayo kailangan duman. Mga simple bagay, huwag natin gawin komplikado. Okay? Yung mga komplikadong bagay, gawin natin simple. Okay? Katulad ng mga solution natin kanina. di ba? Hindi kasi siya nakaayo. So, we simplify the equation. Ganun din sa buhay natin. Okay? Very good. So, that's it. Thank you everyone for having this lesson. Let me give you uh, your um, uh, exercises. Uh, so you can submit uh, using pro props pa rin, para yung assignment nyo. So I will send the link for the assignment. Okay, kung nakasend po kayo, paki-screenshot. Ready, Dan? Opo, ma'am. Okay, sige. Again, thank you for uh, joining our class this evening. And I hope